Hello Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. We are starting off with a good sketch of this butterfly and wet on wet. I used a hacky brush to wet the background very well and then I am dropping in all the uh, warm tones that I see in the reference photo. I'm using yellow ochre, raw umber, leaf green, sap green, little bits of burnt sienna, For the piece of wheat, I am using loose brush strokes with my raw sienna and burnt sienna to get the basic shape of this spring of wheat that the butterfly is sitting on. So I keep adding color while the background is still wet. It's very vibrant. Uh, it will dry a lot lighter. Now there is like almost a halo, a lot of negative space around the piece of wheat. So I'm using a piece of Kleenex that I have rolled up in order to get some of that white of the paper back. To add more of an atmospheric effect, I decided that while my paper was still wet a little bit, I flicked on some water. This created some very soft blooms on this drying piece of paper. The moisture level of the paper is also perfect for scratching in some foreground blades of grass. Once that's completely dry, I am using an iridescent blue for the butterfly as my first layer for his wings. I also used cobalt blue, Perusian blue, electric blue, and white for the butterfly. So I'm building up the layers of the butterfly, adding in some darker blues around the edges of the butterfly. While he's drying, I am gonna go over that stalk of wheat and start adding in some of my darker tones that I see. The colors that I used for the stalk of wheat were raw sienna, Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna, and some sepia.
while it's still wet you want to build up those shadows that are underneath the butterfly so that you have some soft edges and some contrast for the shadowed areas. This is a very cute, fun reference photo, and we have used a lot of different watercolor techniques and combined them for this atmospheric effect in the background with the blooms that we created, as well as scratching out some of the foliage. I love the fact that you can see the piece of wheat through his transparent wing. And so I'm darkening up that raw sienna color before I let it dry. I'm coming in with this electric blue that I have. It's a very iridescent blue as well. And mixing it with some white around the edges. I'm adding some white to the stalk of wheat along the edges. Now to add in the white border that is around this moth, he has a very fluffy appearance with these white areas and I used a fan brush. Thought that it worked out perfectly to get the texture that I see in the reference photo. Drawing in some of those detailed lines, some of the highlight areas. And coming in with my very dark Prussian blue to outline the dark areas of this little moth. This really makes the moth pop forward in the foreground with this contrast and just kind of really brings it together.
the body of the moth had to be a lot darker so I am dropping in more of my cobalt blue, more of my saturated colors. Adding the antennas. Final little touches. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. 